Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Garino Burns. All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world, and if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Strong defense there to block the shot. 
trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Punch coming. It's blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown beat? What a punch. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Nice head kick. Both fighters exchange the pocket here. Straight right hand, no good. Blocks that strike. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Burns. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Blocks the shot. Nice leg kick lands. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Straight punch lands. And he gets the takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. And he landed the right hand there. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Let's go, let's go finish this match, come on. All right, single power tie now. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, nice punch there by Burns. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Big leg kick lands. Effective punch there by Burns. Burns out for the end of round one. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion okay, in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway.
he should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Did that punch no good. All right, so he's landed. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this round? Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Dorino gets touched by that kick there. Oh, he engages in a single call. Nasty looking transition. Nice grip. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Burns gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice loop and punch. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice head kick. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go through it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tries to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect it to. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Burns gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Left hand punch in the clinch. Look at him chopping the wood. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. his back here looks like he may try to hip escape well you gotta be working off of your back he's certainly doing so here nice punch well these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here dc there's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations he knows exactly when to throw exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight there's a song there right know when to hold him know, know when, when to hold him, him. yeah absolutely go. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch here. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch there by Burns. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming. Oh, man, get that out of here. 
He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's skip you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful strike. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Powerful leg kick land. Another shot lands upstairs. Visibly limping here. Punches block. Nice punch land over the top. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Burns. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. We march on, three minutes to go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Both fighters get up now. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Able to check the high kick. Punch over the top. Dorino gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, big left hand there. Just out of range with that right hook. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high. Oh! Sorry, okay. Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. One minute now to go in the third. Burns gets back up, back into his comfort zone. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. 
Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets to say? Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, big left hook there. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He got the turtles in that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight. Lesson one, in boxing class, hands up. Oh, there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. That's a big strike right there. He blocks the punch. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. The right hook to the body. Oh, no way! Spinning back fist! Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Oh! What a fantastic... Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Burns. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's gonna tag off bar here. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. So he submits him with the arm ball. How about that? Great job. Great performance. He got him. What a fight. Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu right there. Just the way he transitioned to secure the arm up against his body and ultimately forced the tap. High-level stuff out of that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. We claim the winner by tap out, Gilbert Carino Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.